What's up guys, it's Jonathan with One Big Impact. First of all, if you're new here, please check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for Healthy Life and also on Instagram at One Big Impact. If you're looking for meal plans or any kind of personal training, please feel free to email me at thrifttime at gmail.com. T-H-R-I-F-T-T-I-M-E at gmail.com. So I want to talk about intermittent fasting really quick become quite the craze to be honest um, I feel like it's definitely gained popularity I feel like it peaked out a couple years ago and then maybe now it's not such a big deal but I think it's also a very viable and useful usefully and potentially massive tool that you should have in your toolbox for doing different things uh, in regards to cutting or leaning out or weight loss or controlling your food intake or anything like that so first of all I want to explain basically what intermittent fasting is and the best understanding of how it works so the first thing is when you're doing intermittent fasting the best way to understand it is Basically, you don't eat for a portion of the day and then you do eat for a portion of the day. So people will say or hear fasting and they think, oh, okay, well, I can't eat. Obviously, I'm going to lose weight. That's actually not what it means. So intermittent fasting works in a lot of different ways. I think the best way for it to work for you is something that you can adhere to best. Usually, schedule-wise is the most important factor. So... For me, eating in general works like this, okay? It's kind of like drinking a beer. When somebody offers you a beer or you go out to drink, once you drink that first beer, you wanna drink more beer. And you don't stop at one. Once you, quote, break the seal or uh, so and so, like say you go to the bathroom when you're drinking or something like that. As soon as you go to the bathroom the first time, you really feel like you're in the bathroom every five minutes. Like you just break that seal and you have to go again. Eating it to me is very similar. Once I eat for the first time of the day, I feel like, well, I've got to eat it again and again and again and again. So for me, what works best for me is, and I think in the beginning I played around with a little bit of different things, but I do, uh, like 16 and 8 so I fast for 16 hours and I eat for 8 hours for, so from 12 noon to 8 p.m. I will have that window to eat and I don't eat outside of that window from 8 p.m. until 12 noon I don't eat and it works really well for me and I, I get to a point within the first couple times where I, right around like 10 a.m. where I start getting hungry and then after a few hours it goes away here's why it works so great for me because once I start eating I continue to eat continue to eat and I'm hungry and hungry and hungry but if I only have that eight hour window there's only so much you can eat in that eight hours now I'm not saying you can't screw it up if you tried to but usually the best thing about intermittent fasting is it gives you a sense of control that control really helps you go forward with your day because it's kind of like making your bed when you wake up in the morning. When you wake your bed, you're like, oh, okay, I started it successful. Or you start reading or something like that and you're like, okay, I started out my day very successful. Going forward, it works out really well for me because then I can go get errands done and I'm like, I, I feel start my day very accomplished. So intermittent fasting works for a lot of people, including myself, because you feel accomplished going into it. So then when you do start making food decisions at noon, you have time to think about it. You're not stressed out about like eating or anything like that. You've kind of feel confirmed and uh, positive and you feel good like because you feel like you conquered the morning and you weren't a s subject to you know whatever foods came across you usually that means you can get through you know stopping on the way to work or whatever you don't have to do that and you know by lunchtime you've had plenty of time in the morning to be able to think about exactly what you're going to be eating so it works really well because it makes you feel good about your positive choices so you feel better and it kind of 
uh, falls into the rest of the day, which I feel works really well. Because if you're fasting, you're not like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go eat all a bunch of crap. No, you're like, all right, I'm fasting because I'm doing this for general health, and now I'm going to move forward. Now, a lot of people are confused, and they think fasting works because you're burning lots of body fat and stuff like that. Now, now, let me say before I say it doesn't do that, of course, if there is no food inside your system, you will, of course, start burning body fat as fuel, okay? But I think what is more important that you need to understand is you're not eating. <laughs> so you're, it doesn't matter what you're burning. Like, at that point, at the point to which you are in the position where you're not burning food, you're burning other things, which is great. Or at very minimum, you're not having to process calories that you were eating all morning okay so the biggest thing is if you are eating from 7 a.m. I wake up at 3 a.m. if I start eating at 3 a.m. and I go to bed at 7 well, that's 15 hours of eating okay if you have an eating problem and you like to eat holy shit like you can get a ton of food in in that amount of time so if you shrink that down to a little less than half of that time realistically like I think we can pretty well say that you're just gonna consume less calories overall and that works really well for a lot of people now a lot of people will say well I can't do that my schedule is weird blah 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 it really doesn't matter like you can do 20 and 4 you can do 8 and 16 you can do 16 and 8 like you could do 12 and 12 it doesn't matter it works whatever works best for you I like to do it because every two hours I get a meal. By the time I'm hungry again, I don't really get hungry. I'm good to go again. So I would say, of course, overall, calories are king. They are going to make the difference. Your macros, yes, they're important. But at the end of the day, if you're consuming too many calories, you're just gonna gain weight. I would venture to say, if you are doing intermittent fasting, and you weren't doing intermittent fasting before, you probably will be consuming naturally less calories. So you're probably gonna put yourself in a lot better position to be able to drop weight than if you weren't doing intermittent fasting. I don't think that you should go into intermittent fasting with any type of mindset thinking, oh, intermittent fasting is magic, it burns fat and this and that. Well, yeah, of course it's gonna burn fat if you're not working out and stuff like that. If you are the type of person that is going to be working out in that portion of time, I would recommend not going to work out fasted. And the reason I would say that is because if it's cardio, then yeah, I get it, whatever. If that works good for you, then that's okay. But as far as like strength training or bodybuilding or anything like that, the amount of calories that you're going to burn in addition by not eating do not supersede the lack of energy that you're going to have. So maybe you burn 20 extra calories or something like that, or you tap into a little bit more fat stores, but you're gonna suffer substantially on not being able to keep up with your workout. You do need that fuel, whether it's carbs or fat or whatever the fuel is that you're burning for your exercise, you do need to make sure you're fueled. And then of course, post nutrient timing, making sure you're eating properly afterwards and getting some good cut, healthy, foods and nutrients afterwards but if that's you if you're a morning lifter maybe you want to make sure your fasting is later or something like that or change your numbers around so i hope that information helped you be stronger than your excuses remember to spread love not hate remember to check us out on instagram youtube and all our platforms have a great day thanks guys